Hello everyone, Kofami's Dragons again. Here's an update. I just finished trimming earlier. I took a quick rest because it was so hot. But uh, look at this weather. We got rainstorms all around us. Except for where we are right now. But uh, you can hear it. Heard a bunch of it go by late, earlier. But uh, we've got cuttings, trimmings all over the ground. There's more. But uh, looks pretty good, Venus. I'm just going to leave her be because that's just how she is. But uh, look at our uh, Laverne Red. It's gone. All the stuff on the top is here. And here. And I think this fruit here is going to go too because it's uh, tiny and it's turning color. So I'm just going to cut it off. But all the new stuff on the top that was looking healthy got destroyed. All the stuff on the bottom here. Look down the aisle. And then our golden yellow. It's looking really good. We've had to cut off quite a few fruits. That's another fruit we cut off from Cosmic Charlie. I think maybe three of them on there that we cut off. Yep, there's another one on the ground. But, uh, that looks good. That looks good. These yellow ones, surprisingly, are doing pretty good. Crystal looks good. Down here. Yeah, we look in there. Tomorrow, maybe. Not as many down here. I chopped off everything on the American Beauty because they were all rotted. That's these pieces down here. And I put the good pieces in here to root out. Try to save what I can. And just trim off what's good but uh let's see how any of these are looking real skinny oh the bruni oh can you hear that a storm coming from that side of town so rain and afternoon now this one we had two on here but we cut off the bottom one because uh it was small so, better to have a nice sized fruit than two smaller ones. And yep, it's coming. This one's not going to make it. We'll twist that off. Fruit punch. We'll throw it in the pile there. That's good. That's good. That might not make it, but because it's soft. Oh, attached to the light. All right, hopefully all of those make it. That one's good, that one's good. But look how small these fruits are because there's no, uh, these branches are so dehydrated from the heat. You see the fruit's a little bigger, same thing here. Look how dehydrated that branches look. Snail. Connie Myers got some branches. Maybe this rain will help them get back to normal, but they don't feed until later tonight. And Haley's Comet. Didn't have to cut much on these guys down here other than the ones in the pots. But there's another fruit right there that we cut off. And there's a fruit here I forgot to take in. This is Condor of Avon Park. So see how small they are right now? Because it's so hot, they don't have time to properly ripen. There's another Condor. That's no good. These two. I might have to take off that one too, let me check. Now we'll get well out out out.
got poked. We'll let that one grow. So that's from this really annoying. Cut a lot off of the this really annoying plant. That one looks good. A lot of cuttings down here. I said have to come back out and pick it up, but I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. It feels really good, so I might pick it up now. Cut a few off of this guy here too that weren't looking so good. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this fruit inside and come back out and pick up as much as I can. Since it's nice and cool right now, compared to earlier, earlier was really hot. Oh, I want to show you guys my uh, mangoes. My mango seedlings are coming up nicely. So look at that. That's a polyembryonic mango. That one's not. We got two polyembryonic ones in here. I think. Look at this guy. That one's not. Which I know. That one. And that one. That one is. That's a uh, lemon zest. And then these first three are lemon meringues. So, got little mushrooms growing in here. And then our, our seedling chimitos, purple chimito seedlings. Look at this. Looking real nice. And then our plumerias. Starting to come in. Hopefully they, uh, a root, and then we got this fig tree from Mark, and uh, I just stuck these guys in here, and they've already grown in one week, which is nice. And then we got a passion fruit here, from Lydia, and that miracle fruit right here. All the fruits that were on it dried up so I got the seeds planted in these first two row here we'll see if anything comes out of it but uh, I also have another guava plant right here so hopefully this comes back to life because I just transplanted it so it's gonna I want it to grow up this tree because the other vine doing really good and then we got some more garbage cuttings here oh look at that uh, spotting on the DA one might have to cut those off too and then we have this air lured sapodilla that's got little fruits on it so yeah some more little fruits here and the one next to it's starting to get to that point where it's gonna fruit too, so. And then our, oh, we gotta cut that. That's our pomegranate. I might sell that. So if anybody's interested, I got a nice size pomegranate. But uh, look at this. This is uh, my avocado. So the goal is to let it all layer out to the left and right or spread out like canopy. And then as the new branches grow up like this, I'm gonna let those grow up straight. Like this guy right here too. I'm gonna let that grow up straight and then we're gonna graph onto those. See, there's another one here that we're gonna let it grow straight up. But we're gonna continue with the main stem, the main branch, continue letting it grow straight out. I saw the, uh, it was like a, a tree that that's how they did in Japan was keeping the branches going out and then using the ones that grow up. Got some figs here. And our jackfruit, that's our, what is that one, the J31 seedling? Yep, J31, J31 jackfruit seedling. Woo. So it didn't look too good, but it's doing better now after I uh, trimmed it off, 
trim all the bad stuff off and then it's coming back. This avocado is looking good. Just ran out some fruits on the jackfruit. Or not jackfruit, but the uh, dragon fruit that's in there. We got some new growth on these guys. It's our black sapodilla. Let me take that out of there. And then Pakistani mulberries. And this fruit here is a white Marcel um, fig. I ate the fig that was on there. It was really good. It's like honey. No fruits yet on these guys. Another fig here. And then same thing with this uh, with this guy here. It's a mango. It's a seedling mango. So I grew. I'm taking all the branches and growing them out. And then uh, the new ones, as they grow up, I'm going to do the same thing. And here's our yellow long neck. No fruits yet. And then this one is our purple caimito. It's an air layered piece. They're looking really nice. But uh, this one, this uh, yellow long neck is from Dan Louis' friend, California. It looks really nice. This one's from Brian. It's already got fruits on it. This one's called Muscatel Preto. And this one here, this little guy. No fruits on it yet, but I do see a few small ones starting out. This is uh, Silly Dolce. So, awesome. And look at these guys. I just leave them be and I don't even bother and they're looking pretty good. Oh no. No, we don't want these guys. If you ever have these guys, make sure you kill them because they eat everything. What do they call these? Lovers? And I got these guys under here. Just water rooting. And these guys are looking good here. So, let me go dispatch this guy. Oh, we got a few in here we need to pull out. But, uh, yeah. That's it. I'm going to dispatch this guy. So you guys have a good day. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.